Hi guys, it's Wednesday the um, 24th of January 2024. Been talking to a few of the town's fishermen today and they've been saying they haven't been able to get, get out to sea because of the um, poor weather. The weather's calming down now but through the night we had Storm Jocelyn I think and just prior to that we had Storm Aisha. All the lads I've met today have told me there's a, a very very short window in the weather coming. So some of them are putting to sea tonight. I think there's a couple of boats going sort of, I don't know, between nine and midnight tonight. And there's a few boats going very early in the morning and then aiming to get back into Whitby with their catch before the weather turns bad again tomorrow afternoon. So those boats will be running out into the uh, local inshore waters. They'll be hauling their pots and, and hopefully they, they manage to get a few crabs and lobsters. The price is high at the moment because demand's high because nobody's been to sea. So, you know, all the restaurants and and everywhere else, uh, the shellfish gets sold to. There's a shortage, so demand's high, price is high. So if they can get a few, we should manage to get a wage for the week, hopefully. So what I'll do is um, I'll pop back down tomorrow morning and, and wait for them coming in. See if we can watch them land whatever they've caught. Fingers crossed for them that that they do quite well. I mean, good luck to all the fishermen who go out there tonight. You know, they're going, to, they're going to be working hard through the night. Hopefully, they stay safe. I mean, I'm pretty certain they will do. But I hope that they manage to get a good catch because um, obviously, they haven't been able to get to sea for quite a while. And as both you and I know, if, if you don't go to work, you don't get paid. So these guys, they haven't got, you know, they haven't had an income for a little while. Hopefully, they can get out there and make something tonight. Well, it's Thursday morning, it's about 11am, sat up on the spar drive and I'm uh, looking out to sea. At first I couldn't see any boats, but then I, sort of like towards the horizon there's maybe probably due north of Whitby. I see a tiny little white boat coming over the uh, horizon and the only white boat I know at Whitby is um, Luke Russell on his boat named after, I think it's named after his son, our Henry. So yes, it, it is indeed, it's Luke. Luke's first back. I'm not sure what time they went out at, but we'll follow them in and we'll go oh, see, we'll see what he's landing. Please, yeah, do. What time did you go, Lou? Uh, Last night. Okay. They've had a long shift. Looks like quite a bit of Luke's catch has been sold to um, the Bucock family. They own the uh, the fishmongers on Sandgate. They also own a, a fish processing company, I think, up on the industrial estate. So, if you're eating crabs or lobsters from Sandgate, you know, this is probably what you're eating. Um, and as you can see, it's as fresh as it comes. There's going to be loads of bleeps in my video. <laughs> See you soon, mate. Thank you. Look after yourself. See you later. Next in is um, Gordon, Jason and Johnny Lighthouse on Arcane. What time did you go, Gordon? Seven o'clock. Seven this morning. Come with Johnny. Opt in. 
I've seen. Here comes the third boat of the day. It's um, Emulate. I think this is Craig Locker's boat. And um, yeah, on here we've got Jay Parkin, who's a bit of a character. So we'll have a chat with him in a minute. did you go? 11 o'clock last night, bud. 11 last night? Yeah. Oh man, so you've had a shift and a half as well? Yeah, a bit graving and all. What's that? Two fleets adrift. Oh my god. So, need to find them. Oh, so you've lost pots? Yeah, two when, What's that from? Just weather and probably steam boats have took enders off my bay. Don't know, do you? But, it's what it is. But you've lost them. Yeah. You'll find them again, won't you? <laughs> Nothing's ever lost, Glenn, it's just misplaced. <laughs> Some characters. Prime Gurnards then. Hey, I go. This for you. Have you had a good day then, Jay? Yeah. All money in the bank. Well, in your lassie's bank. Exactly. All money paid next. That's what we want. Yeah, it's right. Right, that way. Still doing that? Well, as far as I know. Where will these be sold to, do you know? What? No idea. Well, gone to Terry. Which one? The Nick Crabs are going to. Yeah, Scousland. Scousland. What, where's Scousland, Liverpool? Lots is not both to Terry and then he puts them out from there and then crabs and that and they'll probably end up at the So As long as money ends up with us, I don't care where they go. <laughs> they can all go back in the river as long as I get paid for it. <laughs> as long as you get paid, you're not As long bothered. as I get paid, it doesn't matter. Nice if I get paid, the wife's happy. Right, so I just need to nip up to Dock End to see the Dock End Mafia. Um, Gordon says he's got me a few cod fillets that I can have for my tea, so I'll nip up there and, and get them off um, those guys. If I choke, I'll blame Johnny. Good idea. <laughs> you know, so when they get back, the, the, uh, these guys' work's never really done. I mean, look, Gordon's working away there, repairing his pots. It's just, it's just non-stop. They work so hard. And here comes Johnny Lighthouse with a bag of fish for me. Thank you, mate. Very kind. Very kind. Thank you, dude. Trying to do two foot. 